Good evening, Nerd Fantastic. It's Monday, and I am in a lot of owl feelings. So you just saw me like two days ago, because we did a swap thing, but um, I neglected to mention how full of pain I am in right now. Because wakeboarding is very difficult. Um, you kind of get tugged by the boat really hard because the boat is at not moving and then it moves to 20 miles an hour. And so then you're like, you're like sitting like this, right? You're like holding on to the thing as tight as you can. You have like one hand like this and one hand like this so that you don't let go. And then the boat tugs you and you're like, Hugh! so naturally. I'm pretty sore still. My legs hurt, my back hurts, my arms hurt, my abs hurt, my everything hurts. So wakeboarding, good for your body? So uh, Sarah, you were right, I did not watch anybody's videos last week and I still haven't, which is probably never going to happen, honestly. Not that I don't like to watch your videos, I just, I knowing me, I probably just won't do it. I haven't watched a Vlogbrothers video since, like, May, so <laughs> not gonna catch up. I'm not gonna. I know that we're supposed to challenge Scott, I think, which I really like the challenge that you gave Scott, Sarah, so I might steal it and just do it on Monday next week. In fact, I propose that everybody do that. I think that's a great idea. I think that we should just make it a week where we have to reenact our favorite movie scene, um, like the favorite scene of your favorite movie with stuffed animals or action figures or whatever you have in a different genre. Like, that's amazing. You're so smart. So I think that's what I'm going to do next week. I think that we should just make that a week where we all do that. Any takers? Any more opinions? Let me know. Yes, let me know. In other news, I've been reading a little bit. I uh, just finished this book. It's The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. And I really liked it. It's written from a perspective of a 14-year-old boy who is from the Spokane Indian tribe in Washington. And I really liked it. I enjoyed it. It was sad. I didn't expect it to be sad, but it was also funny. And the best part, there are pictures. There are pictures in this book, like, all over the place. I'm not finding one. There was one. There's one. There's pictures. Lots of them. Because, like, the, char the main character draws cartoons. So there's pictures in the book, and that was the best part. Because I haven't read a book that had pictures in it for fun in a really long time. Actually, I read this originally because it's required reading for a class that I'm a student mentor for next semester. So, um... Kind of interesting because this book is like a 7th to 10th grade reading level and it's a freshman college class that I'm a mentor for. So, I don't know. I'm not complaining. It was a good book. I also started this book recently. It's The Reader, which was just made into a movie, as you can see. Um, what's her name? She won Best Actress for this movie. I feel terrible. Oh my god, I know her name. Uh, oh god. What What is her name? Hang on, I'm going to Google it. Kate Winslet! Oh my gosh, it says it on the book. <laughs> Kate Winslet. It says it on the book. Kate Winslet's in it. Ray Fiennes is in it. Who plays Voldemort? Anyway, it's raunchy. It's really raunchy, and it's like Nazi raunchy. And it's good. I liked it. Um, So far, I'm not very far in. I'm like on page 32. But, yep, she, uh, she and the main character do it a lot. And she, and he, yeah. It's a good book. Also, I got this in the mail. Financial accounting for the class that I'm taking this semester that is apparently one of the hardest classes you can take as, like, a 200-level class. So, um... I'm excited. Basically, this book, new at the bookstore, is like $215.
and it's about as big as my math book in high school, which is dumb because that book is worth like $80. Anywho, uh, I went to half.com and got it for $75, so I feel awesome. Um, there's like a coffee stain on it, but I don't care. The inside is very nice, and lots of words, and spreadsheets. Lots and lots of spreadsheets. Speaking of school, um, classes start for me soon. I start August 30th. It's approaching, but it's like the never-ending summer since I've been out of school since May 6th. So, um, I'm ready to go back. I'm tired of being at home. I like I like going to school. It's fun. Um, but I'm taking like 19 credits, which is the most you can take as a full-time student before you get to overtime and have to pay more money for tuition. So yeah, I'm a little I'm a little intimidated. Like three of the credits I'm taking are like the honors mentor thing that I read that this book for. And um, one of them I'm is an exercise class, which I get credit for going to. It's one credit, but still. Um, and then the rest is like financial accounting and microeconomics and some hospitality classes for my major and my lab science, which is geological disasters. And I love geology, so I'm excited. So that class will be hard. But the other three or four that I'm taking might be kind of hard. So um, I'm going to be busy. All right, I've been recording now for over eight minutes, even though the video will definitely not be eight minutes, but I don't want to really edit too much, so um, I'm going to go now before I keep talking, because I'm wasting more time. So, Scott, I'll see you tomorrow. Everybody else, have a super week. I love you.